And first tonight, the Greenwich community packing thousands of meals for Ukrainian refugees who fled because of Russia's invasion. Well, the Packathon took place at Christchurch Greenwich, where it was their second event, but this time it was even bigger. Shosh Bedrosian's here right now with more on the turnout. Shosh. Roxanne and Eric, there were just so many people wanting to help tonight. There was actually actually a line outside of the store, just people waiting to get in and help. They packed over 36,000 meals all in two hours time. In every dark, painful occurrence in life, there's a chance to see the light, the opportunity and God's working through people. Someone said, look for the angels and the angels are here. Every table you turn to and every bag of grain that's poured, just one helping hand will support a Ukrainian in need. I think the response all across the country and around the world is to want to do something to make an impact and help out. Everyone's been so aggrieved by the Russian invasion. That something is packing 36,000 dried meals at Christchurch Greenwich for refugees who fled to Poland. To know that we're feeding people and that there are people who really don't know when their next meal is coming or from where that we're going to meet that need. So here's how this assembly line is working. As you can see, volunteers scooping one cup of three different grains inside of this funnel here where that package of food is going. As we go down the table, each one of these packets put into a bin for the next person to grab. And then we get to the weighing station where each packet is weighed to see how much is in each packet. And we head over finally to the last step where every single packet here is sealed. I can see and feel how we are all yearning for a way to help. For volunteer Lisa Tebe, this is personal. Her parents fled Ukraine during World War II and jumped in to help when she saw the suffering happen all over again. I'm just so touched and terrified. And it's, uh, it's incredible to watch what people are doing and how they're responding. Yet at the same time, that war continues. People are suffering. And the church plans on shipping these meals over to Poland within the next few weeks, and they're hoping to have another packathon in the near future. We're in Greenwich. I'm Shosh Bedrosian, News 12, Connecticut.